everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I'm going to show you the third gift card holder that we made at class this past weekend and this is a smaller one and it is a wallet size and it has a belly band on it when you pull the belly band off and you open it up your gift card goes right into this little slot here put that in there so when you open it up, there's your gift card. It's really cute, simple to make. So let's get started. And what we need for paper is our base. This is real red, and this is four by 10. So again, you can get two out of one piece of cardstock. Then I'm using the, uh, from last year's Christmas holiday, it was called Candy Cane Lane, I think. And I have two strips that are four, and this one is 12 inches long, and then I have a little, another piece four, and it's shorter because I used some on the other card. And I'm going to use both sides. Now when I made my card, I decided to put the less busy paper on the outside, because when I put my gingerbread man there, I thought that was a nice design. And I thought if I had put the gingerbread man, if I had put this paper on the outside and put the gingerbread man there, I thought that was a little busy. So I chose to go this way. But of course, you do whatever suits you. So we have those two pieces of, card, of designer series paper. Then we need a piece of Whisper White, which is cut at four by two and three quarters. And we have another little piece of Whisper White, which is cut at four by five eighths. We need a scrap piece of crumb cake and a scrap piece of Whisper White. The crumb cake is to make our gingerbread man and the white is to make his bow tie. Then we also need a belly band and that is in real red. This is nine and a quarter by one. So the first thing we need to do is score our base. So I'm bringing in my scoreboard and I'm going to put the real red paper horizontally and I'm going to score this at three, four, five, open up my arm and eight. So again, it's scored at three, four, five, and eight. And I'm going to put that aside. Now I'm going to do my cutting. I'm going to bring in my long piece <coughs> and I'm going to start cutting. I, these are all four inches wide this way. So I'm going to turn it horizontally and I'm going to cut. The first cut I'm going to make is at one and three quarters. Then I'm going to make two cuts at three quarters. Straighten that up a little bit. A cut at two and three quarters. Then I'm going to do another one at two and three quarters. And another one at two and three quarters. And then one more at one and three quarters. So I did it, I cut it going by my notes as I saw each section of um, where I needed it to be, but I'm going to make it simpler on you. So we need two, three pieces that are four by two and three quarters. Then we need two pieces that are four and one and three quarters. And then we need two pieces that are four by three quarters. Okay. So we're going to put those aside. Now I'm going to come in with my card base 
and I'm going to lay this so that the smaller rectangle is on the top. So we have a small one, a large one, two one inch ones, and a large one. I want the small one on top. This is the inside of my card. So I'm going to place my busier paper because that's what's on the inside and on the top two. Then for these two sections here, I want to offset that a little bit and change it up. So I'm going to put the flip side of that paper in. And that's going right there. Then this bottom part here is going to be my whisper white because that's where I'm going to sign my card. So I'm going to get these all attached. So let's get let's get attaching here. So on my smaller piece up here. My larger piece here. I ran out of snail. My order is coming. Should be here this I think this afternoon. So I'll be very happy. Nothing quite like my snail. And then the white piece. Okay, so the inside is all papered. Now, what you do not want to do is just turn this over to do the outside because then all of your uh, patterns on your paper will be upside down. So holding it this way, flip it. So now you have your large block up here, your two small blocks, another large block and a small block on the bottom and again we're going to piece our papers in there now this time these two one inch um, wide strips will not have paper on them okay so it's just the top the two the top big one the middle big one and the small the bottom small one so we're going to get that all attached. Now when we flip this back over and we bring this down, we see these are going in the right direction as are the little gumdrops, okay? So now we're going to take these two one inch strips and we're going to make a mountain fold. See that right there? Okay, I'm gonna turn it over and with our tear tape, we're going to put as close to this crease line as possible, a piece of tear tape. And then two shorter ones as close to the edge as possible. And burnish that nicely with my fingers and I'm going to bring in my pokey tool to lift the tape off. All right. Now, I'm going to just take these two and make a valley fold and marry them together. And press. And that's where our card's gonna go. But of course, this is closed up. So what we're going to do there 
is we need to cut this piece of designer series paper. Now a regular paper trimmer, because you're going through two pieces of heavy cardstock, is not going to work. You can certainly use a pair of scissors, or I'm going to bring in my large guillotine, and I'm just going to line that up along the edge, and slice. Easy peasy with the guillotine. So now, let me just grab my gift certificate to Margarita's, my favorite place. And that's going to slide right in there. See that? Now we're just going to do the outside. First, we're going to assemble our gingerbread man. So I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of crumb cake and I'm using the cookie cutter Christmas I'm using the gingerbread man his bow tie and this to and from so with crumb cake ink I'm going to ink up my gingerbread man and stamp him on my crumb cake paper before I punch him out I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm just going to accentuate all of these little markings he has. His hair, eyes, mouth around his collar, his hands, buttons, and down by his feet. And now I'm going to punch him up. Oops. Darn it. There he is. And I'm going to put him aside. Now I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of Whisper White. And with real red, I'm going to make my bow tie. And I'm going to punch that out with the same stamps punch as before. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Now while I have my real red, I'm going to take that little strip of white paper that I had and I'm going to stamp to and from and I'm going to stamp it close to the left edge so that I actually have room to write the recipient's name on it. Okay? Now we just need to make our belly band. So here's our belly band. I'm going to close my gift card up and I'm going to wrap this around. I want my seam to be on the front because the gingerbread man is going to cover it. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make score lines. I'm just going to fold this over. Press it together and then remove my gift card holder. And with a piece of tear tape, because this is going to get a lot of <coughs> excuse me uh, movement, I'm going to put a piece of tear tape there. Lay this flat and bring it together. Now I'm going to attach the strip of paper where I put the two in the from. And now I'm going to attach my, my gingerbread man. And I'm going to put him right over that seam. So you can't put snail all over him because we just need it to cover to fit the belly band. Okay? And with a little glue dot, I'm going to, to attach his bow tie. And there that goes. 
Okay, I'm going to bring in my gift card holder. And I find that the belly band goes on easier if you put it in, um, put it on from the top. There we go. All done. Ready to be given to someone. And again, like I've been saying all week, you can certainly make this for any occasion. Again, I can see this with the coffee cafe suite. I keep going back to coffee because I give a lot of coffee gift cards. This would I was use I would use the a pattern paper of maybe the coffee beans there, and I would put a cup of coffee right there when I opened it up. On the inside, I would probably use the paper that has all the coffee cups and the coffee pots and whatnot. And right here, I would put a gift card to my favorite Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, whatever is in your area. And again, you could do it for a baby, you could do it for birthday, you could do it all occasion for thank you. You can use this for so, so many different occasions. So I hope you have enjoyed this project. If you have any questions whatsoever about how, you, how I made this or any of the products I've used, please contact me. And you can do that through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And it's not too late to get your hands on a holiday catalog. If you do not have a demonstrator and would like a holiday catalog, certainly let me know. I'll get one right out in the mail to you so that you can get your holiday products in time for your gift giving this holiday. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.